come fight me, Andrew. You say, yeah. his boys Andrew's jumped. my guy. I'm going to fly to Romania and do a podcast with him. He from prison? No. Through the bars? No, he's not. I don't think he's in prison like that. He's still house arrest. I know he's your guy, but if I don't call him out here, people are going to call me fake. They're going to be like, what are you afraid Bradley's going to... His boys jumped me. Did you see that? I didn't know that. Is it real? I'm telling you, I can I, talk bro, shit. Bro, have you ever met not, him? No, what the fuck? Why he's not an OnlyFans manager? I'm bro, going, he's dumb. We know he's a million cool. OnlyFans managers. Man. Yeah, I do. He's a nice guy, man. I had a good conversation with him. I like def- three dude, hours. I, I got banned defending him. I defended him for a year. And all I did was promote, hey, I'm talking to Andrew Tate today. You know how clickbait channels do that? Yeah. Just fake. I'm talking to Pokemon today. Just random. My team did one. His brother responds, uh, actually... My brother has no plans of meeting you today or talking to you. I don't know why you're lying to your community. And he said, dork. And I said, bro, I defended you. I saw that on Twitter. You saw that? Yeah. I was like, after a year of these guys, I I was getting banned. I was getting reported because I'm defending the the traffickers or whatever. I said, do they do their research on every rising star red pillar? Yes. Do they stop them from growing? Yes. A lot of them have complained because they don't want competition for that Hustlers University. Even if you take 1% of their business, why the fuck would they ever call me a dork? Well, they don't know who you are. I have texts proving they know who I am. They're like Bruce Wayne. They pay attention to everything happening on the internet. Who's Sneeko staying with? Who's this? I'm like, they actually want to separate from me? When I defended them? And they, it's all everywhere I defended them. You don't I, think it's because you're, you're a little bit fucking radical? And oh. I was going to ask you this. I was gonna, my question. Oh, was okay, that's on, fair. That's fair. As in, like he's making us look bad. <clears throat> no, oh, I just it's, it's like it, Andrew. Like you know, he did some shit. He said some shit, and it's like obviously it got to got to a point like where everyone's like, "Yo, what the fuck? This person's saying this." You're even more radical, in my opinion. Like you're even more like aggressive in the agree, things you yeah. say, right? So like that's kind of like you you do want to create distance from stuff like that. Right. And I was going to ask you this. My question before we got into this talk about Tate was how much of this radicalness is really you? If I was on a lie detector test, you'd kick me out. That's when you'd kick me out. If I was on a lie detector here, you'd be like, whoa. But again, I'm not answering that because I'm a comedian. How much is really you, though? It's all comedy. I don't believe any of this. Are you trying to take me to jail? What are you trying to do, Bradley? Who's team are you on here? I mean, this is just caught my team. My lawyers say it's just comedy. So. But the Christ part is real. And you're right. If that's, a, if that's the reason, I would have still attacked Andrew Tate for the clout. I love stealing the clout. That's see, and that's why I think most people do it. Yeah, but why didn't I do it for a year? Why did I defend them for a Maybe year? Maybe you thought that you could have gotten close enough to be able the, to leverage it differently. The dude made millions pretending to be a cam girl, getting men who are ejaculating. Wait. He's getting them off. There's a lot of material there for me to make fun of, and I didn't do it for a year. Men who are on the brink of ejaculating, uh, uh, the girls who are shaking their tits, they didn't talk to the guys enough. So he would be under a table. He bragged about this, typing. Yeah, keep stroking that. And he would get them off for eight hours a day. That's how he made his first million. And then he pretended like he didn't say that and shit. But there's podcasts. You can clip it up. I'm not trying. This is not a hit piece. But guys, I said to my community, don't talk about it. He's on our team still. We could just, you know, just keep it rolling like the blue pill Hassan people do, Hassan Piker. They just keep it rolling when Hunter Biden is, you know, doing crack with underage women. So I say, keep it rolling for our political operative. But again, that's <laughs> the interesting. thing. You, have you ever texted a man as he's ejaculating? No. For, would you do it for millions? Well, you haven't done an OnlyFans, so I doubt it. No. You, do you have an OnlyFans? No. Nope. Why? I feel like if I, the only way I could show up on OnlyFans is if I showed up on like, like if I had a girl... And I showed up on hers. Like if she did it. You've done that? No, I've never done that. But I couldn't These do girls it. are pressuring you though. You I, know they are. I couldn't I couldn't have an old it's like what am I gonna do? Like fucking be like, look at my cock? Like Well, you could do POV style where you don't talk. You but then I'm that? a porn star. You know There's a reason you don't do it. It's a masculine thing. Whereas Andrew Tate would snap one day, oh I'm not making money. I guess I'll just film my cock getting sucked and shit like that. But the point is, I had so much material to attack the guy for a year, and I didn't. So when they said dork, which is not really an insult, I said, finally, I get some clout now. So, yeah, it is kind of like clout biting. But how many times have they clickbaited? They've clickbaited everything. Why can't I do it for them? No, I'm not saying, I mean, this, the internet's the internet. I get it. Like, I know how it works. But I think maybe your intentions with it were, maybe you thought you would have gotten closer in a different way. Well, I, when I was talking to the behind-the-scenes guys who work with them, 
I was stoked to be in the front lines. Myron's like, yo, you're going to be a p part of the Red Pill Avengers. You're a rising star. We know you're going to pop off. Get on our shit. And I'm like, well, they're letting me in because Myron's very secure. You've met Myron? Yeah, I like Myron. He's not what the internet makes him out to be at all. You know, everyone in the circle, I'm not saying Myron, but everyone in the behind the scenes said to me, Andrew Tate is not like that, where he wants an ally. Your competition to him, to Myron, Myron doesn't give a fuck.